Hey guys, welcome back to the Halo Forge epidemic. This is Psychoduck, and I'm here with the first in our series of conversion tutorials. If you don't know what conversion is, go back and watch the announcement. Um, but anyways, uh, there's going to be probably five of these tutorials, maybe more. Uh, basically, there's going to be one covering the objectives, one covering spawning, one covering the progressive uh, weapon and vehicle unlocks, and then there's going to be at least two covering the design theory of conversion times. So uh, this one is going to be really straightforward, uh, really basic progressive extraction stuff, just how to set up the objectives. Um, the only reason I'm even <laughs> doing this one is because everything else works off of this. So, uh, you know, a lot of you guys probably already know how to do this or could have figured out how to do this in about five seconds, but uh, I still think it's important to cover because it is the the foundation for everything else. So uh, let's hop into Forge and uh, take a look. Okay, so here I am on this uh, little just test that I threw together uh, to show you guys. You know, I figured it would be easier to demonstrate on something like this rather than on a fully fledged map, be less confusing. So um, here are the three objectives, and it's it's really straightforward, like I was saying. So. Uh, for each one, all you're going to need is an extraction decal and a uh, hill marker. So both will be set to the defending team. And then the spawn sequence is going to correlate with which phase the objective is. Uh, game specific true doesn't really matter because conversion maps are proprietary. You probably won't be playing anything but conversion on these maps. And then extraction decals, the uh, label you want. So, and then for the hill marker, it's uh, you know defender again. Spawn sequence is the phase, and extraction site is your label. Now, for the extraction, uh, or sorry, the hill marker, the radius actually affects how wide of an area you can uh, arm the site in. So I could actually be standing down here and arm this site. Um, so you know you can play around with that. I wouldn't. Uh, recommend you know extending it outside the uh, reaches of your objective platform but you know you can kind of play around with that and it can be interesting so um, you know for uh, Bravo the phase 2 objective it's going to be exactly the same just spawn sequence 2 now for Charlie this is where it gets interesting okay because as you'll see we actually have a Charlie a uh, Delta and an echo. Now the reason for that is because it's possible for the attackers to get to capture the Charlie objective without the game ending because of scoring and there's a long story behind that. Uh, it's not an ideal uh, circumstance, it's kind of a little, uh, not a bug, but it's a little quirk conversion has uh, that I wish we could avoid but uh, Unfortunately, we can't. However, it's not really a big deal because if the attackers get Charlie without uh, the game ending, you know, without them reaching the score limit of three, uh, basically you'll have a Delta and an Echo as backups in the same spot. So it'll just be like, you know, kind of get a second chance to grab it. So it's it's pretty straightforward um, if that makes sense. <laughs> basically, uh, if if you play it, you'll you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just a little safeguard, and uh, it's not really a big deal. But uh, yeah, it's, it's really that simple to set stuff up. Um, so I'll, I'll show you guys, you know, how, uh, you know, working off this, uh, how, you know, to set up spawning and uh, all the other stuff. But uh, this is kind of the first step, because uh, everything else is attached to the objectives in one way or another. But here, I'm going to load this up in custom games and uh, just show you guys, um, you know, just that it works, basically. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Also, sorry if you guys can hear some background noise. My Xbox is like, geez, I don't know, it might be like five years old now? And it's pretty loud, so... <laughs> my bad. But, uh, that's, uh, that's what I gotta do for these tutorials when I'm recording while I'm on the Xbox. But, uh, here we go, loading it up, and, uh, I'll just show you exactly you know, that it works, and uh, that'll be that. It's really simple, and then, um, you know, you guys will just have to stay tuned for the uh, for the rest of the tutorials, which will be coming very soon. And uh, I know a lot of you guys probably already knew about how to do what I'm covering in here. It's really straightforward, but, uh, you know, the, the rest of it all builds off this, so I'm going to cover this. 
But uh, yeah, there's the objective. Um, I guess I didn't demonstrate that I could have armed it from out here because of the hill marker radius, but uh, I can't. <laughs> Take my word for it. So uh, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys uh, have a fun forging conversion maps. Bye.